two of you, everyone, I mean, together, it was the most fun thing ever. I just also love how we know each other now so well that you're like, that's, that's something, that's very cool, but it's too cool for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> and you're I right. feel like, like... Yeah, you're right. I I, no, well, I just, I, I feel like you're, you and Noah, yeah. same person to me. Like, you really? guys just are the same person. You guys just, same energy, same vibe. <laughs> Noah's not cool enough to get a call from LeBron James. Yeah, no, he won't even not kill one. He's not. Uh, you brought a, a picture of you and Eeyore. Yes. That's my rabbit. I mean, He's stop. My, and you think child. this is the cutest thing ever, but then you brought another one that topped this cute. This is you and your dog, your dog and your bunny yes. in bed together. Hugging. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he is a, a, a genius. Um, and, and like I said, he buzzes when... And it's like the best life. You, I'm sorry, wait, you put him in his stroller? Yeah. You put him in his stroller and yes. stroll him on set? Yes, car seat and all. It's a situation, God. yeah. Uh, we talked about this uh, uh, last time you were on the show. We were talking about, uh, is there anyone surprising that loved you from Stranger Things? And, and you're like, oh, lots of people. It's crazy. Because, I mean, yeah, everyone loves you and loves the show. But Mariah Carey's son loved you so much, and Mariah Carey loves you. Uh, and they carved you into a pumpkin. Yeah, I saw this and thought... Oh, like, and by the way, like, love Mariah, but, like, her son is the cutest thing ever. I was like, oh, I need to meet her son. Yeah. And, you know, do the pose and, like, make him think that I have superpowers. And he, we met, and Monroe and Morocco, who yeah. are just the most brilliant little children. And, um, and then, obviously, I just, like, met Mariah. I'm just like, oh, like, we connected. Like, it was just like a... You connected with Mariah Carey? Yeah, Mimi. <laughs> Mimi ever text you? We text today. Oh yeah, she called me today. Oh yeah. Are we still playing the game or is no, this real? No, no, no. And like I, I mean, we're we're. The reason is because she he, she grew up, you know, in the public eye, and we have connected just on so many different levels. But also, I love the way that she leads her life with so much power, and and she has so much knowledge and she's so wise and she's just been an incredible guiding light for me and um and then we connected and then i go over to her house and i'll be like eating dinner and she'll come around and she'll be like ooh, ooh, ah! i'll be like no for real no it's a real thing it's not like people are like yes yeah, she does it no 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 she does it when we're eating chinese food wait what Smile. she's coming on i want to talk to her about this wait. oh yeah but don't yeah like it's, don't. she no, just has no. to do it Oh no, she'll just do it. And you're just kind of like, and she'll just like be talking to you and she's like, oh, always be my baby. <laughs> you're like, you just said that? I'm like, hey, hold on. Wait, so you guys are buds? Buds. Do you ever sing with her? We have sung together, yeah. yeah. Do you ever, like, like, for real? Like... like in her studio, sung together. What? <laughs> Wait! Is there something, could something be in the works? Are you guys... Potentially. I mean, there's always, she's always doing something. Like, she's yes. like the most, the busiest woman ever. I call her and she's like in the middle of like changing the plan. I'm like, oh, hold on one second. Yeah. Can we talk? She's like, oh, one second, darling. I'm performing at MSG. I'm like, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. She's incredible. always doing giant always doing things. And I'm and just like, can we hang out? And then I'll just go sing together. It's the most magical. But she is the most talented singer. She's unbelievable. Ever. Like, Mariah Carey truly. and Billy Bobby Brown, maybe a collab? Potentially. I don't know. This is the biggest scoop I've ever gotten on the Tonight Show ever. I love it. I would buy that in two seconds. I cannot wait. Yeah. Um, uh, I, again, I don't want to take credit for anyone's career besides the Brown James, but um, I, uh, when you were here uh, for Enola Holmes, the first one, yeah. I was like, I went in the dressing room, and I'm like, Millie, I absolutely love this. It is a smash. It is a hit. I think this is the best. And you're like, really? I'm mobile. I'm, I'm there. And it became the biggest thing in the world, I feel like, because I put that vibe out there. You manifested it, Jimmy. I did, right? It's so funny. It's so good. It's well written. Yeah. It's charming. Uh, so now you're back with two. I am. Enola Holmes, too. I am. November 4th. <laughs> Next Friday. Yeah. And uh, you're producing this as well. Yes. I mean, this is just the best thing ever. It is. It really is. I, this is something that I have been wanting to do since I was little. I mean, 13, 14, I read the book series and, and went to 
my dad and said I wanted to make it. So for me, um, you know, my older sister and I have collaborated on this project and, and made sure that it came to light in the most authentic and, and British way as possible. Yeah. And, you know, I never gr had growing up a, a female British lead to, to you know, look up to. And Anola is that for me. And uh, it's been an amazing experience creating yeah. it. You were saying to me, like, so many little girls, that's like one of the coolest parts oh, of yeah. this. Little girls coming up to you and like, or parents going, my daughter is in obsessed oh, with my Anola it's, Holmes. It's so funny. And I'll be like, you know, they'll be like, can you say it? And I'm like, tis I. And they're like, ah! Because you know there'll be kids that are doing their little Amer they're American and they're doing their little English accent and they're yeah. like my brother Sherlock Holmes. I'm like oh god I love I love it. It's the most incredible feeling. I mean Blake Lively, uh, she texts me once. I mean I know that you're you you know of them. Oh Blake, are you kidding me? She calls me. Yeah she calls you. I know no, no. I mean, no we're, we're not over, on a calling basis at all. We're over texting. This was, this yeah. was one, voice to voice. one conversation. Walkie talkie. Bedroom to bedroom. Yeah, you know? yeah, flashing um, mirrors back and forth. Like, I think. <laughs> Morse code. Yeah. No, I um, I was like, you know, she's like, hey, listen, like my daughter wants to wear to basically just live in an Enola Holmes costume. And I was like, well, I don't have any for you. And she was like, well, where, like, how can I get a dress that looks like it? Because she wants to be Enola just for her life. And I was like, okay, well, maybe go on Etsy. Type in 800 dresses, because I can't even get she the dress. Wants she wants to, and I was like, you don't want to wear it. I was like, let her know, she doesn't want to wear the dress. There's a corset. So you have, at least, like, so you have at least two Halloween costumes. People are dressing as you for I Halloween. I know, it's I, probably. Now I just stay in Halloween. <laughs> Don't even leave the house. I know yeah. my little sister's like, can you cut? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm no, like, no. I don't know, so many people. Yeah. I know. Well, because yeah, I mean, one year actually on season two of Stranger Things, all us kids went together, but as different things. Like I was Harley Quinn, and Finn was like a whoopee cushion. It was the funniest thing, and everybody turned up on the ding dong trick or treat. Stranger Things kids. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, because it was everyone oh, yeah. together. You're like, oh, yeah. oh boy. Oh. It's not really yeah, happening, the, but it when is. When the Beatles travel together, it's the Beatles. Yeah. Uh, what, what can we say? What is Enola Holmes too? What's happening in this movie? So this time round, we um, indulge in a in a real uh, story about matchsticks, um, matchstick girls, and they um, it's a real strike that was led in the late 1800s and uh, by Sarah Chapman, and we get to uh, really uncover that mystery as to why these girls were being treated so badly. And I love that. Yes, it's and it, I think it's really great because it is shining a light on female workers and protecting them and their rights, and it's an amazing story and. And obviously, you get to go along with it yeah. with her video camera, uh, her video diary. I say Anola's yeah. video diary. Hey guys, she's like a blogger yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, kind of basically. Is <laughs> yeah, and you get to camera. go along with Anola with and, and 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 figure it out. You crush it. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Millie Bobby Brown and Anola Holmes too. Take a look at this. <laughs> oh. My mistake. I should have warned you. I was opening it. No. Dare I ask? Good afternoon. May I ask a favor? 